Hey guys, this is Starry from Starry Sky Gaming, and welcome to this electric DPS socket and tactical mod video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I've done my mods, so you can get a general idea to how to do yours, and you can use it as a guide to see what works best for you. So, let's get started, and I'll show you my mods. Okay, so for the uh, red sockets, in my hands, waist, feet, back, and both rings, I've gone for precision and might. This is because uh, electricity is meant to be a might based power, but with the uh, weapon masteries being incorporated into the game, weapon masteries do so much damage, so for me I spec, in a I spec more weight into the precision, this is because the high amount of damage will come from them, but uh, I also still wanted to build a little bit of might to make a, a boost from my dots and burst damage. So, as you can see, for my reds I went precision and might, nice bit of precision and might, and in the shoulders and in the head, I used restoration and precision. Now, normally people use uh, power, well, sorry, I should say precision and power, but that's just a personal preference that they like. This is just a personal preference for me. I just like to make, have a little bit more resto along with the precision. But it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use precision and power, or you can use resto and precision. It just depends on which preference you prefer. Okay, so for the chest and the legs, I am using precision and health. Yet again, more precision and a good amount of health. And as you can see, my build more or less is leaning towards the precision way for the weapon masteries, but also still has a good bit of might for the uh, powers themselves. And that pretty much is all the sockets I'm using for my gear. So what I'll do now is I'll go through the tactical sockets and explain why I'm using them. Now, in the hands, there's not really much that benefits, um, you know, electric DPS. That's like regenerative shielding, it's all this kind of stuff. I just pretty much stuck Mighty Smash it in my hand socket because just to have something in it. Otherwise, there's not much that will make good use for you. So, you don't, basically, if you don't want it, you don't have to stick a mod in there. But, um, you know, if you want to, just stick Mighty Smashers in it for it's just, if you pick something up and throw it, it just, you'll just do a little bit more damage. That's all there is to it. Okay, so for the feet socket, I am using Deadly Block. Since I'm uh, precision heavy, uh, what this mod would do is pretty much, it takes 25% of my precision, precision and, ca and uh, deals that as damage when I block counter someone. And block, block counter is literally like, if I'm being attacked by a ad or a boss, they're doing a weapon attack or a combo, that kind of things, I'll block, it counters them, they fall down, they'll take some damage and they can take quite a bit of damage. Sometimes I hit them for like 2k just from block counter them. So it's definitely worth using. Okay, so for the chest I'm using Penetrating Strikes. This is because uh, there's two good mods you can use. There's Core Strength and Penetrating Strikes. Core Strength is meant to give you a 10% damage modifier, but the higher the content goes, the lower that damage modifier gets. So for me, I would use Core Strength from Tier 1 to Tier 3 and use tier and use penetrating strikes for tier four upwards because for some reason penetrating strikes ignores a certain amount of defense and toughness but at lower levels it just doesn't seem to do that much damage but the higher the content gets the more damage it does because it ignores more defense so this is why when it comes to end game content you use penetrating strikes so core strength for tier one to tier three i'd recommend tier four upwards use penetrating strikes and then for the back mod, I use Berserker. Simply when my HP drops below 35%, I get a 30% increase. Now in like T6 content, survival mode, all this kind of stuff, your HP will dip below 35% at some point, even if it is for a second. But during that one second, you'll get a 30% increase. And, you know, it could result in a couple of hundred, maybe, one, maybe a couple of thousand extra damage, depending on what you've done. So it's just a good mod to have because everyone's HP does drop below 35% at some point during content. And then in my next socket, I am using Escalator Might. What this one does is uh, it gives you a Might increase of 87 three times. And to get this effect is you pretty much have to use a harmful superpower. A harmful superpower means any power from your loadout. So for me, like when I use Electrocute or Static Push or Voltaic Bolt, anything like that's harmful and that will do damage, it'll make, it'll proc the neck and it'll stack 87 might, which will stack up to 3 times, which gives a total of, I think, of 261 might. 
So if you're constantly using your powers as part of a rotation, you're going to have a permanent increase of 261 might. So it's a really, really easy mod to use and a really, really good one as well. And then for my weapons, I just use Blast Adapter. Once every minute, this can proc, and anything near me will just take damage. So I'm doing my weapon attacks as part of a rotation or generally melee in, and if it goes off, anything near me just takes some free damage. Simple, good mod for DPS. And uh, that's pretty much all the mods I recommend for electric DPS. Oh, just for people who are wondering. My stats at this moment in time. So, uh, this character has 162 skill points. Uh, full T6, as you've seen, with T6 mods. And I have 7.5k health, 3k power, 7.1k defense, 4.2k might, 2.4k resto, 900 vitalization, 2.4k precision, uh, 84 dominance if you really want to know, a combo rating of 106, and a pathetic PvP rating of 62. Go me. So, just in case for people wanted to know, but I hope this is going to be beneficial to you guys. Um, just remember, use this as a guide, don't take everything I say as, like, you know, I said it, it has to be done that way. Use it as a guide and see what works best for you. This works best for me, and this is why I'm offering my opinion and advice to people. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this, and until next time, I'll see you then.